All right, in this tutorial, we're going to talk about changing the size of the, the picture, the location, and um, the opacity. So first of all, with size, uh, if you just have a... So now I have my um, program sequence monitor here, and then I have, of course, a timeline down below. And so all I have to do is um, click on this video, and when I click on it, you can see the little... Um, anchors on the side show up. So I can, just like a normal thing, I can drag this smaller or bigger and that's how I change the size. Now to change the location, I just click on it and I can move it. So there's size and location right there. And in fact, you can see if I play it, um, so let's say I put it up here in the corner, uh, if I play it, then it'll just play up there in that corner. So that's size and location. An interesting thing you can do with that, for example, is I have some other clips down below, and so I could take these clips, and if I put them on top of the clip I just watched, let's say we got four of them, I could even make this kind of panel effect. So right now, the top clip only shows up because it goes in the order of the clips, but if I click on this clip, make it smaller, put it down in the corner here. You can see the other clip shows up behind it. Now I've created this kind of picture-in-picture -picture thing. So now the two of them play. But now I can also take this picture and I can make it smaller. And I can kind of, well, I haven't got the, haven't got over all of them. And then I can kind of move it down here to the corner. And of course, I can make them so they all came together. So you can resize like that. And I can make this one bigger. Then I could click on this really big one. You get the idea. Eventually, I can get four different clips going at one time because they're all on top of each other. So if I play it, see all four of them. get the idea. So that's what kind of thing you can do with uh, size and location. Now, let's say that um, I take this clip and I make it very big, back to normal. In fact, if I want to just, if I want to be more specific about it, what I can do is I can double click on that clip. And then it brings it up in the source um, sequence monitor. And what I can do then is I, I double click on the effect controls and then that shows that, um, so for example, motion is all the things about position, scale, rotation. You can even rotate it, by the way. <coughs> you can rotate it <coughs> whenever the arrow goes like this. You can get it at an angle, even. So it'll play in an angle. But what I wanted to do, though, and you could see the rotation changed here. But let's say I put it back to, to zero. Put the size. The scale to 97.3, but let's say I put it at 100. So now I know it's the right size, and I could put it right exactly where it's supposed to be. Um, it's actually, I guess, supposed to be 360, 240. Um, but now, now what I can do though is I can change the opacity. So what I do is I click on this opacity knob, and then I can just change this number here, and let's say, well, 50%. So now, I don't have, if I put the, the timeline, put it back on the timeline, you can see now the other videos show through this video on top, because this video on top is the one I changed the opacity. So now you get this weird effect. Videos on top of videos. So that's how you change then the size, position, location. And note, just to review, that if you want to control these things, you can just drag them around like I did initially. But if you want to control these things more specifically, if you just double click on the clip either in the timeline or over in the, the pro where it shows all the files, then it'll show up in this 
um, source monitor and you just click on effect controls and you'll control these effects more specifically just by typing in these different numbers um, and we'll also use this when we do animation with keyframes.